I'd rather, I'd rather my wife listen to me take a dump. I'd rather her watch me take a dump as to look at one of these earplugs that's been in my ear. When he drops it, if he makes the shot and then drops the scope and the scope hits the windowsill and then bounces off, that's, <coughs> excuse me, that scope's off. Wrong. Well, we're going to see if it's wrong. I don't know if it's wrong or not. This is going to be an anecdotal little test of if you smack your gun or scope really hard, does it knock it off? Because we all know the guy, you know, I'm a hunter, but we all know the guy that has come back to the camp and been like, Oh man, I don't, I don't know what happened. I just, I, I was right on him when I shot. I was right on him. I think my scope got bumped. I must have bumped my scope. And that very well could be true. You know, it's obviously going to come down to, I would imagine, your scope's quality and also how well you put the scope on the rifle. Did you mount it good? We're going to find out. So, Joe Rogan, we're going to see, we're going to see if what you said is accurate. So the plan is, I've got a CZ-22 with a Citron S1 scope on it. I've got a Howa model 1500 in 300 blackout. And it has a cheap Monstrum scope on it with a Monstrum mount. A friend gave it to me to try. I'm just going to see how well it handles this abuse. And then lastly, we have a Marlin. 17 HMR with a cheap Konus scope on it that I've had for a long time. It's my beater. Used to be my squirrel gun until I upgraded to the CZ. Ammo we're using. 17 grain D-Max Hornady for the 17 HMR. Then 300 blackout subsonic because that's what this gun was sighted in with last. I don't know how close it is. We're going to find out. So we're going to do like a test shot with each of these first. See how close I am. Then we're going to beat the crap out of them and see if we can get the scopes off just by beating them. And I'm only going to shoot at about 50 to 80 yards somewhere in here and just see if we can get any, you know, big, a big movement of point of impact just by beating the heck out of these scopes. Lastly, we've got Norma Match 22 for the CZ. Now this gun was sighted in with SK Standard Plus. A different ammo but the last time I shot this it shot really well and was pretty dang accurate so what we're gonna do is let's throw a round through each of these just to make sure I'm on at 60 and then we're gonna go from there we're gonna start beating them let's just show you this target situation here real quick so just a junky little setup at 60 yards I don't mean to brag now, but I'm a decent, I'm a decent shot, so the results shouldn't be skewed by human error. Shouldn't be skewed by human error. Could be skewed by human error because if I didn't mount these scopes properly, then I guess we're going to find out. I'm willing to bet that I can beat this CZ with this Citron as hard as I want to, within reason, not destroying the gun or the scope, that... I'm not going to knock this thing off. So that's what we're going to shoot first. This is my little baby. Probably my favorite gun in the plant, on the planet. Just so light, it's simple, it's fun, it's cheap. Kids love them. And I love kids, I mean, ugh, I don't know. All right, I'm pretty sure I cut the bullseye out of that little tiny orange dot. Let's see if we can see that. So. I can't see it. I don't know about you, but I can't. I guess I'm just going to walk up there and see because, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's in the bullseye hole. Let's go check it out. I changed me mind. I'm going to shoot the 17 HMR while I'm here. Let's get a little oomph in the junk. This will be an easy shot with this thing. Then we can start beating the heck out of them. This time I'm gonna go dead middle of the actual paper target itself. All right, let's crank this baby in a little, see where I'm at, my objective. All right, so the 22 is literally dead on. I'm talking, I missed, I missed the center of the bullseye by 
pretty much nothing. Like I'm, I'm touching the black speck. What I'm gonna do is I'm unsure of this because it looks like it's about an inch to the left. I don't like that. I don't remember it being that far off last time I shot this thing. So I'm gonna do a three shot group with this just cause I'm not as comfortable with where that hit. Okay. One more. All right, so that's like an inch group. Not my best work. Not sure if it's me or the gun, but we know that if this 17 at 60 yards or so is shooting a group this big and the CZ was dead on, we should be able to see, if we beat the heck out of these, how far off we're gonna be. Now I know this isn't like precision, super long range, out to 200, 300, 400 yards, 500, 1000, whatever. It's not super long range. This is just like basic deer hunting shots. This is, this is the range that everybody claims their scope got knocked off when they shot at that big puck and didn't get him. So what I'm gonna do now, is since the 300 blackout is so much more how do i put it girthy i know i'm going to be able to determine where these are going on that paper now like i said when i sighted this thing in it was with subsonic ammo but i don't know if this ammo is going to shoot the same as the ammo that it was sighted in with this is like a fast dirty setup if any of them are going to get knocked off really bad, I would be willing to bet that it's going to be the 300 blackout. Not because of the round, not because of the gun, possibly because I put the scope on it on a outdoor furniture table and just kind of wung it. I wung it, so to speak. Do you ever look at one of your old earplugs? My lord. Don't let your significant other see that. I'd rather, I'd rather my wife listen to me take a dump. I'd rather her watch me take a dump as to look at one of these earplugs that's been in my ear. All right, dudes, we got the 300 blackout. I've got three rounds in there. Don't know what I'm gonna use. If it's, if it's on from here, we can start the abuse. If it's not on, I might have to adjust around on it a little bit because I, I want it to be I want it to be as close as I can. That way I'm not like straying way off paper or anything weird here. So let's get maximum penetration here. All right, looks like it's about six inches high, an inch to the right. Let's just try to take it out of it. That way we've got a good base. We've got a good base to, to work off of here. We're in the right direction. All right, we're on with this one now. Let's start beating these things, man. So just before we do that, let's go up and check the target out. I can explain things a little better, show you what actually happened. Then we can start just beating these suckers. I'm ready to beat something. I guess I'll throw it in there. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a YouTuber, I don't think. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm a YouTuber, but if you like this crap, just like it. Click one of them buttons or something. I don't know. Report me, maybe. I don't know what. To do something for me. So quick and dirty. We've got the 22 long rifle. Dead on. At this yardage. We have the 17 HMR. I was wrong on my grouping. That's more like a half inch, three quarter. First shot with the 300 blackout. Second shot third shot so I'm gonna leave that there because I trust this it's pretty close it's accurate I'm gonna pay, take a couple of these we're gonna stick them on that and I will designate which one's gonna be which then we're gonna start beating the mortal heck out of these guns and see if we can get one off of paper I want to see if I can get it completely off paper like you start missing this paper at 60 above or below it and that's that's like okay yeah your gun, your gun was off enough for you to completely miss that deer. But like, if, if I move it like a half inch or something at 60 whatever yards, um, I'm not, I'm not concerned with that. That's not, you know, it, this is Kentucky. Like this place that I'm at is the, the farthest 
shot I will ever see at a deer unless I go west. All right, so what I'm gonna do, this is gonna be our 17 HMR target. This is gonna be our 22 target. In the middle is gonna be our 300 blackout because we're gonna be able to tell, you know, if our 300 blackout's hitting there. I might throw this giant sticker on here just for ease of sight. Now, the only thing we got on paper that's, you know, old holes is these two 300 blackouts from side in. So now, what we're gonna do is go back here to 60, beat them, start shooting, and see if we can get something off paper or off an inch. Let's see, let's just see how far we can get them off. And listen, like, this is gonna be graphic content. Unless you wanna see these little guns getting beat, you better, you better switch it off. Switch that Camry off, cause it's about to get bad, brother. Get somewhere and sit, dadgummit. I'll just do it on the, on the bedside. Let's let the beatings commence. But yeah, this is just for fun. If you're watching it, don't get, don't get too upset because look, this this ain't, this ain't professional. This ain't some professional show. This is just me doing things that I like to do and testing it out and deer hunting and making little funny things. That's what I do here. So if you like it, stick around a while. But first, backer. Now listen, if you just don't straighten up, I'm gonna beat every one of you. I'm gonna beat you. Y'all need to learn how to act. I've got a dip. I'm feeling like an abusive father. So we're going to start kicking these things butts. What should we do first? How about the CZ? Because it's the one I want to see. It's the one I'm... Cons it's the one... Um, it's the one I have the most faith in, perhaps. So what I'm going to do here... Just bolt forward, safety. Gun's clear. I think... Um, like scope hits, it's gonna be the bread and butter here. Uh, I'm gonna slam the stock probably on the ground, maybe on my truck bed, and let's just get to it. Ow. My hand. Ow. Ah. It's gonna hurt me more than it's gonna hurt you, baby. Oh. Let's do let's do this. Like, come on now. If you if y'all are making product, pro, if y'all are making quality products, you know you should survive this. That's all there is to it. Mm, that kind of, oh, down in the pit of me stomach. That hurt a little bit. Five hundred dollar gun. Three hundred dollar scope. Five hundred dollar suppressor. Or six after the tax stamp and all that. That kind of hurt. Let's continue. We're not done here. We're not done. You're getting you're getting it worse. The barrel. The barrel. Ah. Get some more scope action. Right on the turrets. Ooh. Let's use this 300 blackout box. It's got weight. It's got lead. It's hard. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. Come on, tough stuff. Let's see what you got. And as Rogan as Bo Jogan said. Hitting it on the windowsill. I think's what he said, right? Let's try that windowsill method. Now I'm gonna use my strap to blunt. No, nah, I'm not. I'm just gonna send it. There we go. Windowsill. Like he said. Let's just get the scope. Okay. Oh, one more drop. Let's get aggressive. Come on, we're here to we're here to party. My hand's red from beating on this thing. It hurts. Let's go 17 HMR. Oh, hit that scope piece of crap. Oh, throw some Rojogan elbows in there. Drop test. Drop test. Oh. Let's hit the stock a little more. Right on my right on my thumb. Like I'm trying to tamp some dirt. We'll call that one good, the 17. Truck bed tossed. You wanted this to happen. You you asked for this, bub. Get this ready, son. Let's punch this thing. Ow, ow, ow. 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 My elbow. 
elbow is stupid. You ready for it, honey? Ah, drop test. I'm wore out. Oh, dude, it's hard being abusive. That pain. Let's gently set her in the truck bed. Let's get some shots down range, boys. Like, I just want to thank my mom. I thank my dad. Uh, my wife. Let's send some gravy down range here. Long, hard day of, or a long, hard night of poaching. I mean, a long, hard day of shooting deer. In the, I mean, a long, hard day of using a spotlight. I mean, a long, hard day of squirrel hunting legally within season with this gun and you beat it around we're gonna see if you can still shoot that squirrel i know you can do this I be daddy believes in you i'm sorry i had to hit you and my heart's beating so hard from beating on these guns i'm afraid that i can't i can't pull the shot off let me take some let's do some square breathing Oh, dang. It's not looking good, guys. <laughs> That's wild. Okay, my heart, my heart's beating so hard that like my crosshairs are just bobbing on this thing. So it's kind of hard for me to shoot a good group. I can tell like I'm shooting about an inch right now, which is kind of unacceptable for me, but heat of the moment beating these guns. It's getting hot out here. It's no, I'm making excuses. I need to quit being a baby. All right, I guess we gotta sight the gun back in, dudes, because we're off. I was, I mean, I didn't know. I didn't have no, I didn't have no hard opinion, which I just did say that like, I really believe in this gun and all that, but it's not bad. I mean, we're up. It's looking like we're up about two and a half, three inches. And here, I should be dead on at this range. Beautiful. So I'm up about it, mm, three quarters of an inch. Let's go. Four clicks down. All right. Just throw a couple in that bullseye now that I'm back in. We're gonna leave that lay and step up to a different gun now. If we get through this, we're gonna, I'm gonna beat it again because I wanna see if I can keep knocking it off. 17 HMR after whack test. I'm pretty sure that's not even on paper. Let's go center target and see if I am on paper somewhere. Maybe it'll help me find it. Nowhere in sight. <laughs> get these greasy plugs back in. And we'll just throw 300 black out. Try to get my 17 back on. And it looks like 300 blackout's completely gone as well. That's a little disappointing. Let's go up and check it out and try to figure out exactly what's going on here. CZ, that's how far it got knocked off. So about, you know, heck, that's not three inches. That's more like, uh, that's more like two and a half. So then you can see I brought it down, I hit high, I brought it low, hit low, and then I put two right there touching black. So we're gonna leave that. Very good job, CZ. These two are the old 300 blackout shots. And you can see nothing here on paper as far as the 17 HMR goes. So here we are at 20. I'm just gonna freehand this 300 blackout Center mass. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure I'm still off paper. Dustin, I'm sorry for wasting all these subs you gave me. But this is science. You gotta spend a little money to do real science. All right, I'm gonna check it. And if it's not hit, I'm gonna step back up here even closer. You can see the target's right there. So I'm gonna go up a few feet and just see if I can see it. Nope, can't see it. So let's shoot point blank. Okay, 
So I see that one. We are bad high and to the left. At, at 10 yards, I am probably four inches high left. And that is just madness. So perhaps if you take somebody that doesn't know what they're doing, mount a scope poorly, or perhaps a cheap scope, they don't hold, they don't hold accurate. Let's see how bad the 17 HMR got off now. 20 yards, free hand. Once again, nothing, even at 20. I knocked it off so bad at 60 that even at 20, I am not even on a piece of paper that big. 10 yards. Okay. <laughs> so that one is severely to the right. Up and down appears to be good. The 17 and the 300 blackout have failed. They have failed me. I'm disappointed in you guys. Um, you deserved your beating. Round two of abuse. Drop test. Here we go. Sorry, baby. Oh, man, that one sounded bad. Looks like it may have bent it from all the impact right here. That's okay. That's what these tests are for. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that bent that. The scope looks like it's drooped down out here at the end. Zoom's still working flawlessly. Eyepiece still working. Let's uh, let's get some shots down range. Yeah, that last whack with the CZ that was the hardest. That was the hardest whack that any of these guns have taken. Let's see how bad. Let's see how bad that treated this thing. Center mass. I definitely hit paper. I seen it wiggle. <clears throat> looks like I knocked it straight up again. About. Three more inches. I like having a bent scope. It's kind of cool. This thing holds true after that. I mean, that's that's a lot. Four drops, like directly onto the scope with the whole weight of the gun crashing down on it. Possibly bent the scope tube. Ooh, nice. Just barely high, so let's go down. Just two clicks. Add them in the black. Beautiful. Let's go for the little bitty target. Barely high left, but still a good shot. Barely high. So two highs in a row. Two highs don't make a low. Barely to the left. Ooh, I like that. Yes. Uh, so I am absolutely ringing the squirrel's eyeball. <clears throat> Or a deer's eyeball. I mean, a squirrel's head. I don't poach, by the way. I'm just joking around. I'm just, I'm just fooling about. Love it. Mm. All right. Let's wrap. Let's wrap this up and let's draw a conclusion here. What is my conclusion? All of these guns took significant damage. All of the guns and scopes got knocked off. Now, the higher quality scope got knocked off. A substantial amount less than the cheap scopes. I can't confirm or deny whether that's the scope. I would imagine that this high, higher quality scope is more apt to handle abuse. I would imagine that these cheaper scopes are not going to handle abuse as well. Basic, basic thermodynamics. I'm really proud of this. Like that. That's that's cool. That's four drops, and I'm only I'm still on paper at 60. Like that's that's acceptable it's not i was hoping it would be zero like still dead on nuts at 60 but that's not the case but i mean we dropped the thing four times i beat the heck out of it with my fist like the back of my palm is hurting the, that meat right there that palm meat my palm meat is sore let's make this conclusion so you can see that the 22 is back high again after the double drop scope tube bend and we were like three or four inches high, brought it down, got it back on, and we're good to go. We hit the black in the other target, you know, multiple times, and that's a tiny target. That's a, 
it's smaller than a squirrel's head and we're hitting it at 60 so I'm happy I'm happy if you're happy uh, thank you for watching subscribe to the channel or something do something for me come on like I'm out here sweating I'm sweating my cheeks like I'm chafed I'm chaffed I'm chaffed and my undercarriage is chaffed to produce this film for you and you won't even subscribe to the channel.